committee meeting to order. And we have a motion to approve the minutes of the last meeting. Second. Moved by Supervisor Dickinson, seconded by Merlino. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Okay, um, I guess really the first item we have is a presentation on the Festival Commons website. We're still trying to get set up, it looks like. So maybe we'll, maybe we'll just move on to uh, another item. Mayor, did you say you have? Uh, uh, yeah, just a couple of things here. Um, the um, announcing three new events for the festival space for this year. On all, these are all uh, during the week, which is great. Uh, Rag A uh, Festival on August 13th, a uh, Rock and Roots Festival on August 20th, and WEX W -E <laughs> QX. Uh, radio station festival on August 22nd. So oh, there's great. three three new events mm -hmm. uh, since the last meeting. Okay. Also, I've got um, a proposal here from uh, Annex Marketing uh, to um, publicize uh, the festival space events on uh, their LakeGeorge.com. The um, Facebook page, uh, they're saying here is 139,000 uh, fans and also newsletter ads. Um, the, um, the Facebook marketing is uh, $200 <coughs> of promotion, uh, but uh, we would uh, suggest only doing nine events there. And the newsletter ads is their weekly newsletter that goes out to 32,000 people. Uh, they would publicize uh, the weekly events. Uh, that that would be $800 because we're not doing May or June. We're too late for that. Uh, the village board has uh, already approved a poster and paid for it uh, because we uh, we felt we had to get get something up for the festival space. So that's not included in this. Uh, if we if the uh, committee decided to do the Facebook marketing and the newsletter ad, they would throw in the uh, calendar page for all of the festivals as well at Charles uh, R. Wood Park uh, at no charge. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's important that we uh, do as much adver advertising the first year as we can to raise awareness of the space. Um, I don't think we need to do quite as much after that, but uh, I'd like that uh, we, we don't need to do this at this meeting, but I, I just wanted to bring that up. Mm -hmm. We don't need to make a decision at this meeting. Right. So well, as, as far as the, the revenue, these three new events you mentioned, they're, they're all, are they all $1,500 a yes, day? They're, they're all, all one-day events? Yes, they're all one-day yeah. events. And so that's 4500 and right. what you just talked about was 4400 <laughs> So. The new event uh, would cover it. 2,600. Yeah, plus that. that I said 3,600 plus 800. Well, no, oh, you said it's only nine, nine of yeah, those. Uh, 1,800 for the Facebook marketing and uh, 800. Oh, okay. 2,600. Yeah. 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 So is that what you're talking about doing, uh, Bob? 400. Taking it out of that. Taking out of the. Let's take it out of the maintenance. Part, part account. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I I think it makes sense to do that. We got we got a, a great venue and uh, it's really the first year that. It's well, my only thought was it was a perfect architect. Yeah, that's scenario. a possibility too. They got money in there still. It's up to the committee if they want to act on it today. Uh, I I would I would make a motion that we uh, send it to the architects committee and ask them if they pony up. Okay. Okay. Okay, motion by Supervisor Dickinson. We have a second. Second by Supervisor Molino. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Okay, anything else, Mayor? No. Okay, so are we ready for the uh, presentation by George Normandon of. Uh, we are, Mr. Chair. Yeah. All set? Okay. Attempted to make some back compatibility with Peter Gerard from the. Uh, from the county tourism, but my my software isn't compatible with your compatible with your system. So, 
in a, in a second attempt here to try to do it. It's definitely, I don't have the right port for some reason, and you guys don't either. So um, what I've done is print out these in case technology disowns us here once again. But uh, where would be the best place to, Mr. Chairman, to set up everything? Is this okay? I'd like for everybody in the room to be able to see it, but um, of course, scaling. I will. Pl I do plan to pass these around, these individual uh, slides are basically comps, if you will. Is this okay, or would you like to be up front, or? I guess that's all right. I don't think there's any place that, you know. Okay. I'll try to front of somebody. Back, back here as far as possible. Okay. Okay, cool. okay. Again, my name is George Normandin with Normandin Marketing. Um, I'm very pleased to be here today. I appreciate your time and your trust to, uh, to work with a partnership with the Chamber of Commerce, the Mayor, and your organization here to put together a, an identity and a website for Festival Commons. Uh, very exciting time for Lake George, coming to the peak season here. And um, some of you have seen the, the mocks before, so bear with me and kind of forgive the uh, repeated explanation. But um, for those who haven't, I'd like to present the identity for Festival Commons that uh, my company came up with there. So what you'll see here is um, kind of the backstory of, of how we came up with what we came up with was uh, on the, it really started with the architect, um, architectural renderings of what the space was going to be. It was, it was centered around water, um, but also in music um, was a big thing. And what we wanted to do is, um, there's really five generations putting money in the market, right, that we have to, to market to. There's my generation, I'm 33 years old. There's the younger generation, which is quickly going to become, uh, you know, uh, the, they're going to go to Aaron Lewis from Stain. They're going to they're gonna patron uh, the festival space. There's, uh, there's a wide range of people this needs to talk to and communicate with. Can't be too flashy and isolate some audiences that can't be too um, conservative. Okay, and, and kind of isolate another audience. So what we try to do is balance, come up with a, a logo and a supporting iconography that supports um, reaching out to the mass audiences, one that they might be able to communicate with through various messages for various events. We are just discussing the first mayor suggested uh, marketing or an advertising budget for the promoting the first few events. There's kind of two tiers here, right? The, the, the festival space has to be the comments now that it's officially branded at, kind of had an identity crisis in the press. You've seen people call it festival space, some call it festival commons. Now we have an identity um, that we're, we're looking to launch uh, probably to the, to the world here and attract uh, people from near and far to come here. Um, you know, whether that be sponsors, whether that be local patrons, uh, regional patrons, as, as far down as, you know, New York City and, and, and beyond uh, for acts and artists and managers to come here. Um, so we had to have something with a little bit of national feel to it. What you'll see here is some good vibrant energy colors in the, in the orange. Um, and we kind of use a balance of the orange and the green because if you look at the trees around here, kind of the orange kind of sticks around with us for, for year round, which is beautiful. Um, and we try to play off, um, if you looked at the art, the Elan group came up with a really nice, uh, really well thought out plan uh, for this that I, I was really pleased with from a marketing perspective. And uh, so what we try to do is play off of their vision um, with your group, which is to really base this around water and purity and kind of the kind of earth tones and things. So what we've done here is you'll see that the droplet balances a musical note as well as the water, kind of ties in the water, the banner, or the flare adds a little flare to it. And of course the mountain and the, and the sun, sunshine coming through the mountains. It's just there, it's not too busy. And what's nice about this, if you take it in context of Websites, mobile uh, desktop sites, uh, laptops, uh, iPads, and cell phones, everything can balance just nicely. So sometimes it may, if you looked at Facebook, and for those of you who are on Facebook or social media, or even download apps on your phones, sometimes it will lend itself to just being the icon and maybe the droplet for an identity, uh, you know, for, for those to download the application for the festival comments to maybe down the road, we make an app that has just the events, or make a make the app actually go right to the events page, so folks, once they download the uh, the icon to their phones, they can see exactly what's on schedule, keep them up to date with everything else we're doing in the press, advertising and such. Um, but for the for for the website and for the full scale everything, 
a nicely balanced, you know, timeless font here mixed in with a non-serif font. It really gives it a professional feel. And uh, we're very proud of it. Um, I think it really balances nature and kind of good energy. Orange has a nice energy to it. And um, is there any questions or concerns on this? Anybody have? No. Okay. Well, I, yeah, yeah, go ahead, sir. Uh, I, I got this earlier. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know how the rest of you guys feel, but that oh, orange doesn't do it for me. No. Why is uh, that? Uh, well, I don't know what you got to put up there next, but it looks like Howard got this. Uh, I, I don't know. It's not, it doesn't grab me. Fair enough. Maybe it I... It seems a little washed out. Okay. With, with, with the pale blue and the, and the dark green. Just my personal no, okay. I, that was a comment I was going to make also. I showed it to a couple of people, the ones you gave, but last time we were here, you said that that was just a color of print real quick. The <laughs> color was going to change deeper or something. Well, I showed it to a couple of people in my town, and the, the, the first time I was in orange. Hmm. You know, I, I don't, you know, I'm not into this stuff. So. Yeah. I guess, I mean, that's, I'll leave it up to you guys. I mean, this is, um, this is pretty well thought out. I mean, um, I, I'm open to suggestions, but you know we gave a lot of thought considering the plans and everything that we have to tie in the landscape and with advertisements and things like that and to stand out. I mean, the typical if you look at every logo around here, it has the mountains, it has the same thing in it. So it, it you know, there's a few different things you can do, right? You can use script. You can. There's only so many colors on the palette. So I mean, if if anybody, I welcome anybody this, and and uh, if it calls for another meeting, if you guys want to go to vote on it. Um, I would be glad to sit down with you and, and kind of go through some other options um, and, and kind of what would fit. However, I think for the overall scale of what we're trying to do, I know everyone just thinks with Orange with Howard Johnson's and that's a, good, that's a good point, but in context of advertisements and things like that, the bright bold colors and on white backgrounds, on Facebook profiles, on things, it just stands out. There's just you know, a, a vibrancy about it. Um, that I, we felt strongly about. So that's kind of where we, based on all the backstory of what we're trying to do, plus tying it in without nature, without overdoing the mountains and, and things so that are George, traditionally I, uh, done. I had a chance to be an architect when I was in school, and I mm -hmm. ended up being an engineer. It's a long story that I won't go into, but uh, I like being an engineer because I can do what the client wants, and I don't have to listen to them about their opinion. <coughs> Architects are different working for the client, so you do a really nice house, you give it to them, they tell you it looks like crap, they want you to do it over. Mm -hmm. well, there's no argument there. Mm -hmm. It's an opinion. Right. This is an opinion. Right. I assume this is electronic and you can change those colors at will and do a whole array of colors. Sure. Yeah. It's really... I, I, I kind of like this. Yeah. I, I'd like you to put them together and, and give us some options. Sure. Uh, yeah, I, I actually I'd like to talk personally with you as I, I appreciate your concern and what I'd like to do is just get a little bit more thought so we're more focused on the colors and kind of the direction you're going and if, if the rest of the organization, the board is good with that, I'd be glad to put that together for you. No problem. Thank you. Just know that what I'm about to present today as far as the website and everything, it's still a presentation phase. If we do, we're basically building the code on the back end right now. If we do change the color schematics, if we change the imagery, the park we have very little to go off of now besides the renderings. I'm hoping in the first uh, couple events, if I, can, if I can do so, get a permit to run a drone and get some photographers on staff that I can actually get you guys some really good photography to use for this in your upcoming promotions to help promote future events. But for now, just bear with me because we have very little to go off of, okay? Um, but yes, I can appreciate that. So uh, moving on to the website, um, what we have here is basically a, a very clean cut, you know, rendering of of what the website will look like on the interior pages. You know, you have the logo up here, you have the navigation very clean across the top, social icons, which you know my generation are looking or er, and, and younger are really savvy on. Some of them will probably this will probably for the most part, need to be duplicated on social media to some degree for, for that whole other audience to, to communicate with because they're probably more likely to use social media than they will the, the, uh, the website. Um, so what we have here is a breakdown of all the events. Very clean. Um, the mayor suggested that tickets are still kind of up in the air right now. Certain, certain venues and certain 
uh, promoters and what have you are selling their own tickets. And our, this site's job is just to be a hub to link over to their ticket sales. Is that nothing's changed there, correct? Okay. So right now, this is just a nice listing of, of, of things right here of what's to come with associated imagery, uh, nice big dates, so the calendar is nice and easy. Keep in mind, this is all this has all been thought out to scale on mobile devices as, you know, really 80% of decisions are being made on mobile devices now. People might see a message somewhere and hop on their phone, hopefully not when they're driving, to, uh, to check out what's going on in, in, in the news. So, um, yeah, just nice listings here of what's, up, what's upcoming. Um, what we can do is sky's the limit here. I mean, this is really a beta thing. This is a whole new brand. It's a whole new thing. If we decide, okay, in phase two, we're, we're going to give each event a sponsor page where they can sell sponsorship and maybe there's some juice in it for the, you know, for, for your guys' organization and the board to come back to help fund other projects. Maybe it's landscaping, maybe it's infrastructure, maybe it's, you know, maybe it's marketing. I don't know. But sky's the limit here. But for now, to get something up there to the world, we have nothing right now. So this is a, a beta launch to get some nice pictures up there um, and, and get a nice overview of the event, a link to each respective event, the Ad Adirondack Wine Festival and such right here, Maricade even, um, some of these to, to get more information uh, for these events. Uh, and the visitor information, a uh, very simple you know, layout of each, uh, each organization with a high resolution logo, so they're proper, they're, their brand is properly represented here. We use Fort William Henry. For, you know, for each brand to be represented with the basic information with the link over to their website. Because ultimately, people are going to want to go. Our job is to get them to other people's website. We're here to be a portal, if you will, to get them to the port and get them to the Holiday Inn, the Sagamore, to, and, our, and our local businesses to, to get them to patron them more in here. Um, you'll notice here, and this is up for debate, this is still at its infancy. So um, the sponsorship section, we, there's, there's talks of possibly, you know, overarching sponsorship, okay, like for the whole year, maybe we develop a program, I could help with that, um, develop uh, sponsorships for the whole entire year, maybe charter sponsorships for it. So certain organizations or businesses, family-owned businesses can get year-round exposure on this website here. Again, if each of that, if you guys decide that it, it's okay and this is something you want to do, again, we can go back if each of that wants to have sponsors listed for their events, say D. Crescenti comes in and spot, Coors Light's going to sponsor the whole, the whole uh, Aaron Lewis thing. We could make this a drop down and it'd be a simple phone call from you to my team to basically say, hey listen, we really need to account for our sponsors on here. We could make this dynamic change on the website where it would just drop down and fe uh, featured sponsors for this event and put their logos in there, whatever we need to do. Okay? So again, all at its beta stage at this point. Um, as, as we have limited, uh, really limited information to go off of at this point. So what you're going to see here, I'm going to pass these around after this one, after, uh, actually I can start passing these around now. I'm going to do that. Get some extra. Um, what we have here, and this is a rendering of the website, a full scale rendering of the home page right here. You'll see the navigation is front and center. This image, I envision being an image of whatever the featured event is. The next event on the, on the, at the list will get a custom graphic made by my firm here. So basically to promote the event and kind of give a little snippet of what it's going to be. You know, a really nice graphic and introductory thing, which is, you know, obviously the event promoters will appreciate that, especially if we're doing press releases and Facebook advertising and, and all sorts of ads to drive people here. What you'll see right below this is a list of upcoming events for what's to come to give the six, six next uh, biggest events on the schedule to give people just a little preview of what's there. It's just a, what's nice about the boxes here um, in my web design experience is it, it's nice. It folds up nice and makes the pictures big. Usually on mobile websites it's a little tricky now because if, you're, if the content of the text is too small or there's not a big enough graphics, you can't read it, you're squinting down, it's no good for nobody. So basically this is why we've done this. And we could limit this if you guys wanted to make sure there was more room here for sponsors or a bigger part of the park, all dynamic. I can make this, my development team can make this the top three events. We can make it the top six. We can make it whatever you want. Okay, this is all dynamic content. At any point, the imagery, the, the graphics here can be changed. We could even go as far as putting sponsors 
rich median there. So basically for, like they've got the American Motorcycle Rally. It could be Fort William Henry's banner ad that flips through there. So one second you see this, the next second you see Fort William Henry's ad. And it kind of goes back and forth. The next thing here is the park, which is just a simple rendering of, of the Elon group came up with of the illustration of the park, kind of the architectural layout, if you will. And, um, and what we have here is just, right now, we, like I said, we have little to work with. The park is being produced as far as infrastructure goes, so it's a work in progress. We have little to go off of, except for this illustration. So what we're going to do with your help is we're going to totally revamp this. Just wash out all the, I think you guys had, you know, you had some, uh, uh, Empty space. Yeah, yeah, some empty space concerns here that we can wash all this stuff out and make it really look slick, R really look nice, kind of like this, but just give a brief introduction here of the testable space where folks could click in to the full page where they could see the park. Down here um, is the uh, festival space, you know, full calendar with a link to another page. This helps with search engine optimization and kind of provides the user with a great experience. And then, of course, your sponsors are sticky. You know, we can make these uh, sticky out throughout the whole website. So if they do pay you a good, uh, you know, amount for the year-round exposure on your site, you know, on any page anybody clicks through or scrolls through, they're there. And then the contact form is down here with the navigation, the, um, and a brief and an email subscription list that will populate on MailChimp, which I use, and they have the best analytics and the best design abilities are on MailChimp.com. A lot of people use Constant Contact or Vertical Response. I prefer MailChimp because I have a corporate account. You can see we've got some cash bags up here. So, um, so that's just nice. And that will collect the database. So as we unroll everything out and on Facebook and what have you, and you guys are collecting names and everything, it'll all go populate to the database. So at the end of the year, you know, or at the end of each month, we can direct market back to those, to those websites. So it just gives you, the, gives you the basics here on the bottom for navigation. Everything else, I mean, whether we use this graphic or I come up with something clever here, is still up for debate. This is all interchangeable. Every single quadrant on this whole entire website, I should use this because this is the whole page, is interchangeable. So at any moment, you can make a phone call and me and I can change that. If you want to change the colors, I prefer to do that up front um, before we launch into the world because I don't want to be doing backtracking to, you know, the obvious stuff for obvious reasons. But I'll pass this around to you. This is the home page. This is the park interior page. And the reason I had to make this video is so everything's going to be more than you can do. But does anybody have any immediate questions, concerns, suggestions besides, you know, the, the logo and the mark? Yeah, um, the um, logo that Dennis was talking about, mm -hmm. I, I'm kind of reluctant to say anything. Last time I offered my opinion on mm -hmm. the design, I was yeah. basically described as a Neanderthal. Yeah. But to me, it looks, it doesn't impress. It just sort of looks flat. I mean, it looks better up close. Mm -hmm. And as someone pointed out, the little green thing doesn't look like a mountain, looks like an artichoke. So it's, but it, I mean, it just is flat. I mean, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Design, that's the thing about design, it's subjective. Uh, you yeah, put 10 people in a row and you'll all see different things. <laughs> but the, what my basic question is, is you got the opinion of not us, but the people, you know, why variety of people? I, my job is to drive you business. And from my experience, I, I worked with Donald Trump. I did a Super Bowl party in 2008. I've worked for major, major brands and companies. Mohawk Paper I've helped turn to an online store from a traditionally offline store. I'm young, but I've got about 15 years of more experience than a lot of people in my industry have in about 30 because um, I don't stop working. <laughs> the good news is, is, like I said, with this kind of stuff, it is subjective. And I appreciate everyone's opinion. Um, ultimately, we've got to make a decision as a group. Uh, my firm, your firm, everybody's opinion here is a team, you know, and, and, and we have to come to kind of harness these opinions into some sort of a solution uh, fairly quickly as well as I understand there's some, some emergency to get this site live. So, um, you know, all I can say is in present when I, when logos are a very touchy thing, you know, and I, again, sir, I appreciate your concern. Um, I've had 
immediate winners with everyone, and I've had, you know, sometimes they get thrown against the board, and so it's just a matter of, uh, again, I go back to my professionalism in my industry and doing this for this long, what the public's gonna, what the public's gonna accept. The only thing I can tell you is that every client I work with grows by about 20 to 40 percent a year. Um, as a result of the body of work that my agency has done over the last four years. I'm a self-made guy. Uh, I take this very seriously and given it a lot of thought and I really feel good about it. I think um, colors, uh, colors of a matter of opinion, I think. Uh, the key is, is the type treatment, the icon, uh, and everything. We come to some sort of a, agreement on, on the logo uh, and, and move forward in a, in a, in a, in a fashion. <laughs> is, is there, go ahead, sir. What, what's the intent of when to have this go live? Well, we're looking at a couple of weeks here. I think the goal was, you know, like the first part of June. Right. Middle of June, the latest to go. We live with kind of a yeah. website. Mm -hmm. We should have this approved by the full board. So just trying to remember when we, uh, what's the date of our next meeting, our full board meeting? The 15th or something? The 12th, is it? Nineteenth, yeah. So we're we're not gonna have a meeting of the full board till the nineteenth. So I think this committee really should give the guidance and then have a presentation to the full board on the nineteenth and plan on trying to get it approved by then. I mean, the other option, the other solution I can offer is to package up the file digitally and send it to each board member for approval, and maybe have like a feedback form, an interactive feedback form via PDF. Mm -hmm. So as long as they can, if they can type in the answers to the to the questions on that, give feedback to the to the organization, and you guys get back to me. Mm -hmm. That's the only way to really expedite it in between the meetings. But that's you know that's just an open. Okay, Doug, uh, Doug yes. Yeah, uh, thanks, Mr. Chairman. I think colors are subjective too, yeah. and uh, I think we have 20 board members. We're going to get 20 different color combinations. I I feel comfortable going with the guy who's made his livelihood been very successful with the cover, color combination. So personally, I don't see wanting to change it. I'd rather go with a pro than, than us guessing and so forth and so on. He knows what drives the business. He knows what drives it. And so I don't see us needing to change it, but that's my opinion. Again, we have 19 other different opinions. So I, I, I'm fine with going with what he's presented. That's about your average, 19 or one. Okay. Any any other board member have a comment? Just you know, I got a little you know on these um, emails. We got here at the county. We collect emails. The people that send us emails. It is restricted to what we can do with them. Most of the tourism department have, have email blasts. <coughs> we have 130,000 names. How are we going to collect these? Who are you responsible? I'm going to collect them on the back end on behalf of you, and then basically what you got, how you decide to move forward with communicating with those folks is yet to be determined. Um, so you're going to collect them, and then we can get them. Correct. Yeah, yeah, it's your property. It's your it's yeah. your ownership. I don't do anything without. I, the board I think it's a, it's a good idea for partly to right. do send them out to the business yeah. people. Yeah. We don't do our other emails right now because we're afraid that. Um, a lot of business people start bombarding people with emails. Sure. Oh, yeah. They yeah. start signing off on it. Yeah. We have a good 130,000 steady people that we don't lose so many. Absolutely. There's but a this could be a separate list and it could be sent to yeah. hotels, motels, or Absolutely. anybody that wants to yep. use it. So that yeah. would that would solve a little bit of problem. And I, and I, you know, and I do agree a little with Mr. Beatty that we got to get this out. I mean, the, the place is getting booked, but we now have to know, let the people know that there's something there. What would it, what would be if we went with just basically as your the knowledge of this? I'm not go with this and, and let's try it the first six or eight months this year. And how much is it to change things later on? You know, if we feel we get comments uh, that this the orange is no good or this is too small, this is too big. Because I, I think we really have to move on as soon as the board does approve it. Uh, the logo is a big thing. You want to come out of the gate and you yep. don't want to change your identity because then it makes everybody look bad. It makes it, and then it backtracks and it creates kind of a brand reputation whiplash. So all the positive press you receive is it kind of looks like we couldn't make up our mind, right? So basically, what I suggest is we come to conclusion on the logo first and foremost. The website, you got up there. The, the website. I'll talk about the website. The website's then. interchangeable. Any anything that you. This is to get something up. It's a it's a four it's a five page website. Okay, we got. 
the home page, events, the park, visitor information, contact. I'm going to have to go in and change it for you anyhow. In another three months, I'm going to go get photography for you, go down there and get some stunning pictures, possibly even some video for you. And I envision <coughs> a lot of stuff changing anyhow. So if it changes some colors around, if this isn't too, if this is, if the board decides that this is too dark and needs to be lighter, or this, that, and the other thing, those are just small things. It can be changed in a matter of seconds. They're not, you know, we're not. The house isn't in stone, it, it, you know what I mean, at this point. This is a nice, it's a nice start, um, but, and, it's, and I'm very proud of what we came up with in a short amount of time, within a month's time. Uh, for logos and stuff, usually this stuff takes about, for, for to do, you know, six months to go, because there is so many meetings and approvals. So, um, all the stuff is dynamic, I mean, you, you can change it. So, uh, and the logo is important. Logo is the most important thing, I really do, because the public's going to be pushing you guys, for uh, an identity, and, and, and the truth be told is the reason I do this is to bring you people and bring you dollars and bring you new ways of, of, of and bigger ideas of which way people will engage you and give them a great a perceived experience. And the, only, the best way to do that is to, to, to give them something to latch on to from the get-go. And the press right now is going to be on you, right, because they keep coming back for, for articles and they want to be promoting your events. To make the most of your events and with, with current gas and prospective gas, I suggest at least getting this down. This is all interchangeable. If you call me at the, after the 19th, we launch this, let's say, and you say, George, this whole bottom needs to be restocked. You know, we just give it some more thought. We just do this. I'll work with you on that. But the the, the logo that, that that also ties in with the color of the banner, right? So I mean, if you approve that that color scheme on the logo, it also affects that banner. Is that right? It does. Yeah, in the current state, it does. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it may, may, maybe what should happen is if you could, you could do some other color schemes for the logo and banner, and get that out to all the board members, and then we vote on it on the 19th. That makes sense for committee members. I, I like the option. Yeah. Okay. You know, I think it would be great if it had a little bit more of a reflection of where we live, the Adirondacks, whether it be the Adirondack color, the Adirondack, it gives, you know, obviously you're going for a music note, looks kind of flat with a music note, but mm -hmm. I think if we could reflect the area of which we live in, mm -hmm. again, I agree, you know, you're the pro at this, but I know in past when we've looked at icons for things, we've involved the community or school mm -hmm. or, uh, you know, kind of a focus group with it. Um, but I guess my main concern is not necessarily that logo. Um, I wanted to touch on your email comment that uh, Jeannie talked about. Sure. One, I'm a firm believer that we should be giving our businesses email addresses if mm -hmm. we're generating the opt -out. I guess my question to you is when people are providing their email address, I want to get rid of this problem that well, they didn't agree to share their email address. Are we, I, me, I delete everything. You know, it goes into my junk mail. I can sort it. But I understand not everybody can, and not everybody likes knowing that yeah. your email might be shared. Sure. But in this day and age, everybody's sharing it. Yeah. Yeah. Is, is there a pop-up? Is there something that when somebody goes, they're saying, mm -hmm. yes, feel free to disperse our email address? Yeah. yeah. And actually, I invest $2,500 a year in software at, right at my building. I do hosting right in my building. I run a small shop, but you guys might be surprised at what, what we can do there. Uh, based on, I've learned from people way smarter than me <laughs> on the technical stuff. And I can tell you, that uh, what we do, and the reason I prefer MailChimp.com is they have a program partnership with this company that does triple opt-in emails. And what they do is they can send confirmation emails to prevent anything like that. Because I do the Great Upstate Boat Show, and we have, it's very sensitive. We have a list of 45,000 for that, and it's very sensitive. You know, some people opt out, and this, that, and the other thing. We have a lot of contests going on, sponsors, all sorts of stuff going on. So I do triple opt-in every year, too. Some of us don't get stale. I run reports that cost you know, hundreds of dollars to do, but to make, make sure those problems are eliminated. And there's always, yeah, there's always stuff like on uh, the email right there to, to do a pop-up, to say, right. you know, you are agreeing to this and doing double double opt-in pop-up. <laughs> yep. Hopefully we're going to see the county move in that direction as well, yeah. but I think that this is a great start. And you yeah, yeah, that. there's a lot of good stuff going on. I mean, this is, I, I really, again, uh, you know, from my from my standpoint, and I, I, I really do appreciate everyone's concerns and honest feedback is where progress happens, especially in my industry. <laughs> you know, I got one more comment, yeah, go ahead. and I, I'm not going to labor it. Take a look at. I hate to promote the ad around the Blue Festival, which I would like, but you look at the way his ad is. This is what Rachel said. It's more yep. like an ad around look. 
Yeah. Look at the color. I mean, it's not an orange, but it's a, it's a tannish, you know, a, a green. Yeah. It's a green. Yeah. Uh, again, I, again I, don't, I don't know if we, yeah. you know. Again, it's design is a subjective thing. And here's, here's the reason I feel strongly about this rendering is because of its flexibility in use. Okay, I feel like it accomplishes what the, the architectural plan is laid out and in, in the form it, it maps. And actually there is, there's going to be actually symbols across the park that actually resemble this. Okay, so it kind of ties in. There's a lot of thought that, 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 that went into this. Um, as far as color and things like that, but I truly feel um, it, it, it scales. It works really well. Um, and it hits all demographics. You know, like it, it, it speaks to you got you to gotta also, something in context too, picture it on a business card, picture it on a t-shirt. What would people rock a, you know, a t-shirt in any age group, you know, have the logo on the back, have the event sponsors and things like that. Could it scale um, in, different, in different ways? And you don't want the ad, or you don't want the logo to be too, too busy because this is really as close as busy as I, I really would ever make a logo because then you don't leave any breathing room for the design of the advertisement. So, so, so the graphics. If the logo has is too busy and tells the story, it ruins the curiosity of what's about the, you know, the message that needs to be taking place. And so that's that's the only reason. That's my my two cents there. But I'll leave this up to you guys. I mean, uh, Mr. Chairman, I'll, I'll proceed however you see fit. I want well, to it's sure. up to the committee at this point. I mean, I think the two options are to move forward with what's here, possibly with some options on the on the color changes or or drop back and say we want to take more time because it's so important to get the logo right. I mean what's the what's the sense of the committee? I, I like the logo myself. I mean because you know the whole the whole concept of the Festival of Commons from the very beginning was, you know, water based. So it's got so it's got that that drop and then the music I think makes sense because that's a lot of what's gonna happen there. The, uh, but I'm not very creative so yeah. I know nothing. <laughs> well, you, you've seen you've seen renderings of the uh, signage. Yeah. All of the signage throughout <coughs> the park is uh, is interactive. Uh, for instance, uh, they're all droplets of water, or re represent droplets of right. water. And on, on one side of the uh, droplet of water, so to speak, yeah. is a question: uh, How uh, right. not this one, but how long is Lake George? And the person turns the sign around it, it swivels and on the back is the answer uh, 32 miles and so uh, I know Georgia you probably lifted that droplet of water idea that goes throughout the entire park signage mm -hmm. that's being designed uh, actually being built now sure. uh, with the droplet of water the droplet of water represents Lake George it represents what the park is all about I, I do agree uh, with the colors. Uh, somehow orange doesn't fit the Adirondacks. Uh, something maybe uh, more more blue or more wood wood tone mm -hmm. for the mountains and the trees. Mm -hmm. Green, something like that might might work. But I think the the uh, website has great potential for sponsorship, mm -hmm. which. I said a long time ago, years ago, this festival space will be a money maker for the county and the owners, and uh, that's the potential. Already got two companies waiting for the thing to go up, but we have to decide, again, the parameters for sponsorship as well. We need to research what we can do as a, you know, as a municipality and what we can't do with sponsors, different levels and so on. But I think it's important that we get it up to get it up and running to support to support the people. Uh, it's going to be extremely difficult with um, 21 different events, if you think about it, on 21 different days or 30 different days. We're all competing with each other. John Strong's event's competing with Jonathan Newell's. Jonathan Newell's is competing. They, they need this website. It isn't like SPAC where you've got the same event running for two to three weeks. This is some, this is trying to change a person's mind every Sunday and Monday about what's going on next weekend in Lake George, and you're talking to many of the same people. So th we've got to get this this up and running to help those folks as well. 
but if we can do it through the mail prior yeah. to your board meeting, okay. I'm agreeable. Dennis? Yeah, I'd definitely like to do that. I think in recap, um, uh, your layouts you have here for all the uh, different media formats is, mm -hmm. is great, uh, especially the, the website, I think, is, uh, is uh, first rate. Uh, it's got a lot of color, it's got a lot of action, it'll draw you in, it, it draws you down the page as well. Uh, the logo, uh, I, I love the festival commons uh, written out there, you, mm -hmm. you've got that, uh, uh, it's just the colors, uh, to me it looks like it's sat out in the sun too long, mm -hmm. uh, I'm just looking more vibrant. Sure. Uh, so if we could get your ideas on some different <laughs> colors, including color combinations? Absolutely. Okay. I, absolutely. I'd appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, I think I'd be glad to. Myself. Yeah, I, I think that's what we, what we should do then. If you could just email sure. probably the probably the full board at this point, because the full board would be voting on it on the 19th, is, I guess, keep, keeping the logo and the banner, but just giving us some possible sure. color combinations. Well, Other I just remembered something that I kind of scrapped before uh, in light of this mock I did do a rendering with the green as the main color for Festival Commons and then used the orange for the balancing. Because I just want everything to pull. If everybody reads left to right, right? I'm trying to pull eyeballs and, and really make it bold. Some good points about the earth tones and things like that. We can work on that. I did want you to just check out on my computer screen um, here. Um, this is just the, the green as the base. Like up there, you're looking at the, the Green being the subtext, which is the supporting at Charles R. Wood uh, uh, Park. This is the green earth tone. Uh, I vote for Alan. And so I just want you I to didn't see. I realize that was the sun up there. I just want you to see what that looks like in contrast. And if, if that, I like this one. <laughs> that seems to work better. Right. While I have you guys here, and kind of moving things. Fred, do you have a comment? Yeah. Fred. Yeah, I have a question. I got good news. <laughs> the, uh, this is still a work in progress. Uh, right here, yeah. we could do that right here. Uh, yeah, but, uh, yeah. I just wondered, I hope, my hope this right now is just placeholder. Yeah. 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 The text is really orange. Is for, uh, this is this is all again. This is all dynamic. So I'm at the kind of the mercy of the board with how this. Again, you nothing's going to go live before you see it approved. Okay. So basically what I, this can be interchanged. If you want other links here to the industrial, to whatever, I mean, whatever you guys decide, um, we can change this. Fred, Fred, Fred makes a good point that the project is done in partnership with the environmental groups of London, uh, sure. Lake George yeah. Association. Uh, I think they'd be in sense. A good, <laughs> good thing Fred noticed. Uh, they definitely want to go in there. Sure. Absolutely. Yep. Yep. And, you, and you guys will have to help me with the text because of the because of the partnership and <laughs> what words can't yeah, we, we can't use and whatnot. And it's it's the fun and like George Association, right? Yeah, I'll have them do it. I'll have I'll have them send them. Okay, sir. Okay. Good. Good. What do you think of that word? I just think that looks great. I'm just still a fan of the Adirondack deep yellow. You right. know, all our Adirondack signs are green and yellow. Sure. In that yeah, I don't know, but but then again, we got to stand out. That's my concern. Is like if everyone does the Adirondack theme in the logo, how are we going to stand out against a fridge with magnets world that we live in right now? Everybody is on their phones, and the mayor brought up a great point. Like I'm in ten, I got two kids. I'm going in 20 different directions. I'm your best, one of your best candidates to go to these concerts. I'm a musician. I'm a songwriter. I, you know, and I'm a sucker for a good event. And if it's if it looks good, it looks slick. I'm going to go. Uh, however, we're, the reality is just that we're, we're rich in this area. We're rich with events and things to do all the time, and, and to really to, to stand out, I try to try to just do it a little bit differently because of that. Um, but thoughts? Any thoughts, concerns on this particular rendering? How about the I, I, I really, I really like that um, color change there, and I know it's the screen, but the orange is a little more red for orange. Sitting now, it seems to have a better effect with balance with those darker colors. Okay. 
Okay, so the committee, you know, we're, we're way over. We're about 35 minutes over. Um, so do we want to ask George to send email to all the board members but approve the basic concept of the logo and the banner? Uh, I, uh, the, the logo's great. The, the banner, it's all, it really shows up a lot better with those darker colors there. So uh, if you could just send us two or, two or three, including that one. Okay. Fair uh, enough. Uh, I think if that banner was orange with a little redder than that one, that definitely would be my... Do you want to make that as a motion? I'll make that as a motion. Yeah. Okay, anybody second? Uh, second. Okay, any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Okay, so I think that if you just do that or send it out to all the board members or get it to Amanda, and I guess Amanda can send it out. Thank Thanks. you very much for your time. Yeah. Thank okay, you thank you. George. Okay, any other business for the committee? That, we have a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Dennis and the mayor, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Oh, that's right. He's going to be reserved or whatever. Yeah. Yeah.